In Houdini 21, we have brand new dynamic system in 2D workflow. And I must admit, this is very interesting and very smart thing to do. So we're gonna look at that. Hi everyone, this is Daizen. Welcome back to this amazing series of Houdin 21 First Look. And in this one, we're gonna see Flow and Diffusion Solver in Cups. And after this, we're gonna see Pyro. So stay subscribed. And as you can see, we have this menu of dynamic, and this is our diffusion workflow. It's like for each workflow, it's have block in sorry black begin and black end something like that as you can see i can connect this font to this activation input and boom this is straightforward and as you can see it will create this amazing simulation for us and we have uh, a lot of uh, setting here and as you can see including this uh, live simulation this is very cool new future side effects add to these soldering cups and yeah yeah, I think it's happening. We're gonna go to live uh, simulation. As you can see, this is, they have a uh, many different setting in this diffusion. And you can, of course, tweak that. And we have preset and we have a lot of things and we have a uh, boundary. And this is the first look, guys. And now let's go to the flow. What is flow? This is another cool, uh, dynamic future as you can see you see we have pyro here and we have flow so let's go with flow in here you see we have this block and as you can see we need a couple of things here and as you can see if i use font for example yeah let's go with that and if i increase our font size and this position yeah may, maybe this and now i can of course go with this mono to rgba because it's take rgba and you see we don't have anything and we have error why we need to feed this temperature now so for example let's go with constant with white color and let's play you see we have something it's doing something here but what if i delete that and replace it with noise maybe fracture noise and you see we have something but it's so crazy and what if i yeah doing that as a <laughs> that's very nice and you see wow this is very cool to be honest and this is like pyro and uh, like fluid and you see we can add some temperature or some direction movement here and you see this is very interesting one so i'm yeah i'm so excited to add this to paint x to have this amazing cool workflow to your uh, p uh painting so uh now i will i will use this uh, geometry to rasterize it in uv and of course I will go with that you see you don't have anything because we need uv so let's rasterize that and have our uv maybe yeah let's go with that and let's have our uv in here uh, in a quick setup and let's connect it let's see what will have what will happen here you see if i play that yeah nothing why is that maybe yeah let me delete that you see UV, it's doing some guidance to this simulation based on 2D. And we can use that. You can have your custom UV to art direct your simulation. But now if I create preview material uh, and connect that to the base color, you see we have something like that, which is not very cool honestly because this is the first look and i'm honestly now working on how we can use that in better use case in our workflow in our storytelling workflow but yeah until that let me show you this cool trick you can create a noise inside this uh, flow uh, block and you can have something like that yeah sorry 
we need to yeah make that and you see you can have something like that very cool and amazing simulation you see it's have many potential in 2d of course you can use that on a plane in a sub network and guide your simulation but it's got to be more than that to be honest so yeah i'm now uh, looking for that i'm working on that to be honest because the, i'm so new in this system this simulation system so as you can see i changed the the noise and there is a cool uh, new node that project project this divergence to this uh, workflow as you can see and you can use it like that with UV and your uh, noise and that's another option it's very interesting and you can use it but having said that this is the overall look of flow and diffusion in the next one we'll see pyro so stay subscribed for that and see ya